third quarter of action Salpok ang Barangay Hinebra at Shopinas.com Clickers 0-4 po ang Shopinas 2-2 naman ang Barangay Hinebra sa bagbagan sa Pwistuan Galing sa isang harrowing na panalo ang Barangay Hinebra kontra Power Rage 73-72 Gosha's newest book Cody Gosha features inspiring stories of the country's top entrepreneurs as well as entertainment and fashion industry icons. Once again, from your PBA family, congratulations to Shoppinus.com Quitters Governor, Ms. Sheila Lina. Uh, congratulations nga pala ulit uh, oh, to Ms. Sheila Lina. Congratulations. At mukhang uh, mas mak Malaki ngayon ang ngiti ni Sheila Lina kasi labang ang siya pinasa at kahap. Ano, every, single, every single siya pinas game nakatutok ni Sheila Lina. Ay, oo naman. At uh, yung sa Twitter, talagang oh. go, 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 grabe. <laughs> Kung uh, makapag-share si Ms. Sheila Lina, you see the passion coming out of Ms. Sheila. At siya nga ang inspirasyon ng siya pinas. I think that's a big reason kung bakit magandang pinapagandang. And you see Jay Sena scoring. He's the leading scorer now for Shapinas. And he's only got six points and Shapinas leading scorer. And they're ahead by five. So, patuloy. Ano yan? Yung trending, naruki na naman. Naruki na naman ba? Ang baba na ito. Magpapahirap para sa barangay na ito. Tutukan natin yan. All the way to the final buzzer. Jimbo Aquino. Back pedals. Pintis. Sena para sa rebound. Kasama niya sa iksina. Espiritu. Ubalde. Hermida. At eto nga. Si J.R. Aquino. Pinapatayan sila. Eto si Jimbo Aquino. Willie Wilson, J.C. Intal, Yancy Del Campo, and Rob Labagala. Espiritu, nabitawan on the way to the hole. Naguluhan sa solid defense ni Willie Wilson. Alam mo, dumali ng buhay ang... Dumali ng konti ang ating buhay sa Labagala, misses. Mula nung nawala si Willie Miller dito sa Inebra. Dato, dalawa na Wilson, dalawa pa Willie. Ngayon, Wilson lang ang problema natin. We see that ball sail out of bounds in favor of Vinebra. But that was a wide open look. Para kay Sena, hindi lang niya na ipasok yung bola. But for Barangay Vinebra, I think that uh, that is a warning. Nakakapasok dito ang siya Pinas. At ayun, no? Borgia Ermita na naman. And he's another turnover. Borgia Ermita, nakaka-four steals na yan. Ubalde. Aapake. Falls up in front of Jimbo. It means... Espiritu with a third opportunity para dito sa Shopinas. Kaya ito talaga pinag-aralan ng Shopinas. Kung saan yung mga weak points nila, no? Rebounding, turnover points. This particular game, you see, for great improvement in the overall play ng Shopinas. Ubalde ngayon. Gets it over to Espiritu. Huli ka ni JC Hintal. Sapul na sapul, pero nasa Shopinas pa rin ang bola. Wala pa rin. And another fifth opportunity pa rin dito sa Shopinas. At si Borgia Ermita is all over the floor. Siya nakakuha dito ng steal. Siya nakakapagbigay ng extra possessions for Shopinas. Balde runs into a brick wall ni Yancy De Ocampo. Ando doon din sila bagala, nakapayong, sino ba pinituan? Mukhang si Yancy. Si Saxon na doon, yung Barangay Nebra. Paolo Hubalde, finding the opening against that zone defense and finding himself at the line. As we send it downstairs, ando doon si Aaron Atayde with this report on Chapinas. Takbo lang ng takbo. Ito yung utos ni Coach Franz Pumarin sa Clickers na nakaforce ng 16 turnovers sa first half which by the way is the average ng Ginebra all throughout the game dito sa season 37. Hindi rin daw pwede magmuha silang flat like what they did sa first half. So come out with a whole lot of energy. They get lang sa score and we'll try everything in our power to pull this one out. Back to you. 42-35. They are looking good so far here in the third quarter. Pito ang abante ng Clickers. Alam mo, nakakagulat yung sinabi ni Ermida kanina, no? That uh, the reason kung bakit uh, lumamang sila at the half is because they are using their youth and their speed. Ano ba yung gusto sabihin nun? <laughs> Bigyan natin, uh, pumakatawa yung mga bata naman ng Ginebra. Intal with a miss. Started this game on fire. Knocking down his first four shots. This is still one of three na. Ito si Intal. Sena! This on the jump hook, Intal once again, pushing it over to Jimbo Aquino, stutters his way to the end. Nice fast break, two points. 
At si JC yung talang kapigay ng uh, bola doon. A little bit of a full court pressure now coming from Minebra. Delay na tactics. Nila. Oh, delay oh. tactics na ito ni Aquino and Labagala. So, mabigyan ng pressure yung uh, ball carrier ng Chapinas. Good idea here on the part of Coach Shaw Tackinson. Ubalde. Contra kay Labagala. Bounce si Robert J.R. Nahinana pa si Espiritu. Spinning away. Roller that goes. Then on the foot back. Merong foul. Getting the offensive rebound. So, kung the offensive rebounding kanina, doon naghari ang mga Gene Kings noong first quarter at least dito. Yun naman ang ginagamit ng Shapinas. Intal with that board. Still no sign of either Mark Aguiwa or J.J. Heldebrand. Si Vigo Villanueva. Cavalde caught reaching in. Contra kay Aquino. And Vigo Villanueva pinasok para si Rafael Campo. That's a passive of Furious. Waiting for their turn to check in. Villanueva mapalik kay Labagala. 43 para si Chapinas. 37 para sa Itabra. Who would have thought that this juncture, this new team would be leading Barangay Nebra by 6? In Pal gets it over to Jimbo. Na ilang mali yung pasa papunta kay Jay Aratino. Ermida finding Espiritu on the other end. Elmer Espiritu delivers. At patuloy yung pressure defense netong siya pinas broken by JC in Pal. Biggest lead now, 8 points. That matches the earlier lead. Kanina ng Shapinas. Ginebra po, lumamang ng hanggang presa. First contact, J.C. Intal. Oh, hindi na tumatama yung kanyang mga tira. Here comes R.J. Azul. Alam niya, yung pasa, dire-direcho sa kamay ni Villan Nueva. Firepower kayo lang ngayon ng parang na Ginebra. Mark Kagiwa, ready to check back in. The spark. Yan ang kailangan ng Ginebra. A spark. At sa akin dito, may pinapakita sa atin ng ating MC na si Alder Almo. Itong 8-point league, biggest lead of the conference or in the history of Chapinas para sa kanilang kapunan. Ang 8-point league. Si JC Talaman, hitting it from the outside. Siya kayo na nagdadala dito sa Ginebra in terms of high power. JC's got a dozen points already. Espiritu, iron lamang ang tinamaan. Labagala gets it through. Wilson po forma. Pero si Enrico binigyan ng pasa. Enrico muscles his way. Bitin. Elmer Espiritu ninakaw sa kanya ni Bilyan Weber rebound. Enrico. Pinahanap si Jimbo. Gusto nilang poste yan. Ito si Ermida. Nakasabay din yan. Paste. Ito si Jimbo. Bedista naman. Yan si Ermida. Tumulong. Jay Aratino. Intal, off the wrong foot, still gets the basket. JC Intal, ibang klaseng trabaho na ginagawa dito sa ating third quarter. Masya ko makayo dito, he's got 14 points in the game. And that cuts this shopping us lead down to 4, 45-41, timeout for the Clickers. Itong si J.C. Intal has scored the last four points para sa Barangay Nebra at tinapyasak niya niya yung walong puntos na inahabol nila to only four points. Seven of ten shooting from the field that is J.C. Intal. Ito yung turnaround ni J.C. Intal. Feeling niya, kaya-kaya niya yung defender niya. And getting the two points again. Kausap natin si J.C. Intal and he was sharing yung isa sa mga proudest moments na no, as a basketball player was when he played just one season for the Latran Squires nung nanalo sila over uh, Sambeta for the NCAA Junior Championship siya nagpapanalo sa overtime and his father uh, cried pakatapos ng uh, laro niyo and uh, siya din and he hugged his father and sabi niya that was his proudest moment going back to his junior days Siyempre, gusto niya yung tagdaga niya ng mga mas memorable pang moment dito sa PBA. He is on the way. He's got 14 points so far. Ermida with two to shoot. Scoops it up and out. Rebound Wilson. Intal gets it over to Labagala. Kagiwa, kasama niya. Mark the spark. It's a 2-1-1 fast break. 
Kalaban ang barangay Nebra. And Taguiwas now got eight points, four of six shooting from the field for the Spark. And by the way, in the first half, bihiran bihiran ang score ng fast break ng Nebra. We did mention in our halftime analysis, 11 to 5. Ang advantage ng Nebra is points. As Azul scores his first two points of this game. Pressure defense na naman galing dito si Shopinas. Wilson ay hirapang mag-inbound. At ayun na nga, tuloy yung pattern na ito sa Apolas. Iba naman, kumana yung pressure defense ng Shopinas forcing that turnover. 19 turnovers now against Barangay Nebra. As against 13 for Shopinas. Balde, ang ganda ng cover sa kanya Neto ni Mark Kagiwa Switch sa kanya ngayon si Wilson Five to shoot para dito sa Shopinas Se, Tumino, baseline jumper In and out Cortez sa kabilang dulo Will try and back pedal Intal moving without the leather Pero may Kagiwa na punta ang bola Three pointer on the way The spark will miss Wilson offensive rebound is fouled. That will be the first offensive rebound in the third quarter for the Nebra. Now we have a chance to win Wilson. Just to have a possession and a chance for points for the Barangay Nebra. Three points in the game so far for the Dito. Double W. Make that four. Scanlas checks back in para kay Espiritu. Ganda rin ang balasa ngayon ng tao ni Coach Franz Pumare. Ano? Constant stream of fresh legs as we see Wilson. Solid na naman ang performance na dito. Well, feeling nga niya, no? the only way that Chapinas has a chance of winning is uh, to speed up the game. Kaya naman eh, yung pagpasok niya ng tao, ang dami mga fresh legs all the time. Menor. Could not connect. Here comes Cortez. Attacking again, Messi Ubalde. Cortez, one-handed shot. He takes that. He's gonna ball it out. Did he know? Come over some ball at the baseline. Homer says he saved that. He didn't get it. Jump ball, na lang. Wow. Parang pinulak ni Kagiwa. Kaya natawa ko. Parang nakaisa sa das park dun. Jump ball, center court tayo. Of course, pagka ganyan, anybody can jump on both sides. It is going to be Canlas Conra. Hindi pwede si Canyaleta pala. Anybody but yung bagong pasok. Kailangan yung nasa sahig na kanina pa. So, Intal Conra Canlas, center court here at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Ubalde takes it away! Left-handed layup is good for Paolo. Well, si JC Intal ay manalo ng jump na yun. But hindi na handle ng possession ng... Parang nga yun. Eba, parang turnover yun. Ito sa halos... Masay Nebra yun na... Ayun na ba? Getting it right back. Binawi na kagad ni Enrico. Di sa kabilang dulo. At na 5 second violation by si Homer C. Parang nga yun Nebra ng bulaga dito ng full court pressure. Exactly. Dito natin nakikita. Yung parang nga yun Nebra. Using its veteran experience sila. Yung veteran sila. Coach Franz Pumarin is in the middle of the court. Nagre-reklamo dito because of that 5-second violation. Nawar na katuloy si Coach Franz. Feeling niya medyo mabilis daw yung 5-second violation na yun. Ito. Hindi naman tumawag ng timeout si Homer C. Sa pagkakataon na yun. 49-46. Tatlo pa rin ang abante dito ng Shopinas. Enrico. Namuersa. And he will score. Iikot na lang ng ring yung bola. Baka sa isang inahabol dito ng Jim Kings. Enrico's got 4 points. Ubalde to Minor. Cortez diving for it. Minor in trouble. Lalabas muna niya kay Ubalde yung bola. 10 seconds to shoot. Under 4 minutes remaining in the third. Para dito si Shopinas. Canlas for three. Nope. Canaleta. Nice box out to the Rina. Ito na yung size factor ng Baraday Hinebra. Kanina nakita natin. Power move by Enrico Villanueva. Then a power rebound by Dino Canaleta. At doon sa bakbakan sa Pwistuan, merong foul. Looks like an offensive foul on Canales. In that occasion, parang nanggigil doon si Canales, realizing that 
kailangan niya makapresto dun sa ilalim to be able to get possession for the low post. Ito, nahirapan na naman ang Shopinas to end down that leather. Nasa 4 seconds na bumibulang ng referee. As bodies are sprawled down on the floor. Azul, ginulo ni Inta. May isa, pinalitan si Minor. Tupid, papasok din para kay Inta. Yung physical defense kayo na Hinebre, nakikita natin. I'm talking about physical defense. Ito na, isa sa mga pinakamagaling na defender ng Barangay Hinebre. Back on the floor si Tupid. At ang assignment niya, buisitin. Ito si Ubalde. Mirza, step to the left. Three, offline, rebound, Hazul. Mirza, once again, kagiwa on in this time around. Ubalde, to the left. Hazul, nakuha yung airball. Homer, set for the rebound. Homer, set. Pahiling away for the foot back. Pinapot din ang pao sa wakas ang Shopinas. Dalawang airball yun. Pero four serve. Oo, oh, 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 sa kasunod. No second chance opportunity. Waiting ba rin na Hinebra. Napapambayaan nila yung uh, kanilang defensive boards. Mirza gives Shopinas another two-point lead after that split. Wala na pong tatlo minuto na titira sa ating third quarter. Cortez running out of control. Nagiwa had to scamper for it. Ito na si Villanueva, spinning baseline. Enrico, huli ka ng ring, pero merong foul. Omerse nanulak from behind. Again, the power move coming from Rico Villanueva. At ang Barangay Nebra Kings naman ang may timeout dito. 50-48, it is shopping us still by two. Ang 26 Southeast Asian Games sa Indonesia ay mapapanood din nyo dito sa Active on IBC. Kaya this year, the best seats in the house ay ang inyo, ang mga nasa inyong tahanan dahil dadahilin ng active ang aksyon ng SEA Games sa inyo. Scores, stats, highlights, ibibigay naming lahat. Tutok na ngayong November dahil malayo ang mararating ng mga atletang Pinoy kung may kakampi. 50-48, Shopinas looking to hang on to this 2-point lead contra Barangay Inebra. Pero si Enrico Villanueva patungo sa ating free throw line. May pagkakataong itabla ang ating bakbaka. Si Villanueva nakaka 4 points lamang. Did not score sa first half. Ang ganda naman ng timing ng kanyang pagpaparamdam on the offensive end. Looking for the deadlock at this point. Iisa palang deadlock natin, ano? The Dean 26 all. Ngayon, yeah. pangalawa na ating kapatid. A big comeback here for Barangay Nebra. Yung depensa na gumuhay dito sa comeback ng uh, Barangay Nebra very clearly. Ubalde. In this can last battle spirit. Stick uh, back and go. Yun na naman yung offensive rebounding. Ang Shopinas. Ubit mula sa kaliwa. Ritualo on him. Kanyaleta. With 12 to shoot, spinning away, shooting over oh, the yes. ball. Pass up in tira, inabot siya ni Ren Ren dun sa Siko. Masyadong mahaba si Dino Canaleta. KG easily scoring over. Ren Ren Ritualo nakita natin, no? just ahead. Taller than uh, Ren Ren Ritualo in making that uh, jump shot. Those are the first three points of the game para dito kay Canyaleta. Second leading scorer yan, anong Barangay Neta, averaging nine a game. 53-52, the Jin Kings with a one-point lead. Ritualo, ganap ng babasahan. We have the two-minute warning of the third quarter. Napaliso, detong si Canlas. That's a foul on Nino Canyaleta. That's a penalty situation na, Barangay Neta. And free throws coming up now for Shapinas. Ito na naman, isa sa mga rookies ng Shapinas. Shining in the spotlight. Si Carlos, nakaka-six points na. 
So, yung mga rookies na siya pinas, they're doing it by committee rin, ano? So, uh -huh. no, ang nag-ahambag-ahambag. Actually, dalawa sila si season after the first quarter, hindi na nakatulong dito. Pero kindlas, at ito si James Senna. Making a good count of themselves. Problema, kababate, nag-mintis pa rin yung free throw. Meron nga lang lane violation, so pagkakataon para kay Kandas, nagawing split yung dalawang mintis niya. At si Dennis Daa making his first appearance this season. Ito si Daa, binabanggit mo nga, the Dean. Papapasok lang ito sa lineup. Ito siya Pinas. At tablang naman tayo. Daa is a bruiser. At ang dahilan kung bakit nasa loob siya ng court, is to defend against Rodrigo Villanueva. Nag-iwa! Ito ang asin pa, hana ito si Ubalde. Nothing Paolo can do sa pagkakataong yun. Pag kaya-kaya ni Marta Giwa, yung defense ni Paolo Ubalde. Kanina, yung defense-defense kay Marta Giwa, si Mirza, medyo nahirapin siya kay Mirza because he's taller. Nasabi sa atin ni Marta Spark Kagiwa, bago pa man yung out-of-town game nila nung nakarang Sabado, They want to get everybody involved on this team. Pero, pagka nga naman kailangan na siya na siya na mag-ambag, eh, hindi siya mag-e-hesitate na makatulang. He's now got 10 points. Uh -huh. Fresh off the bench. Hold off the bench. Big piece. Big rebound by Enrico Villanueva. Kaleto na nga! Sabi yung tira. Kanya rin yung rebound. Wala pa rin on the putback! Two heartbreaking losses and misses coming from uh, Adaleta. With Walo, ito, hindi mag-e-hesitate. And then you snap shot. Instant offense coming from Renren Ritualo. He's got five in this game so far. Wala na pong isang minuto natin tira sa ating third quarter. Here comes Villanueva. And then he's down. Hindi pinapalapit si Enrico Villanueva. Close to the basket. Cortez in the lane. Switching hands. Cortez pa rin. Lalabas ni Tubid. Fresh shot block para dito si Jin Kings. Mike Cortez will reset. They want to go to the post. Enrico contra da. And away from play, there is a foul. Si Swallow na pangilihan ng puting foul. Apat yan para kay Ren Ren. Jay Aracino comes back in para kay Ren Ren. Ire-reserva na ni Coach France yan. Now we're going to do for Pagkakas. Espiritu, nagbalik din para dito kay Canlas. Sideline in Van Pernabas. At saka ito yung defensive lineup ni Coach Franz Pumarin. They do not want Ginebra to score sa possession na ito. Tapos na yung mga quarter natin. Tabla tayo sa 55. Tagiwa. Especially in exhibition against Espiritu. Gears up with the board. Pero pwedeng mag-lash up dito ang siya, Pinas. They look to take the lead heading into the final 12 minutes of action. Ubalde with 5 to shoot. Working on Cortez. He's got a major school. Oh, Lini Cortez. Covid. With a Hail Mary from half court. And you get to. Kapos na lava. So, kapos ang unang kapagod anim na minuto ng action. Tabla, tabla ang ating labanan. 55 to 55. What a fourth and final quarter this promises to be, Ganito. No scoring ball game, pero nakita naman natin. In that third quarter, puro action. Paolo Ubalde. Sasagutin ni Mark the Spark Kagiwa sa kabilang dulo pero si Ma Renre Ritualo nakatulong na dito before picking up his fourth personal foul. Tabla ang ating labanan, 55 to 55. Tutok lang kayo, 12 minutes of action pa dito live na live mula sa Active as we send it over to Patricia na nasa Active Center.